South 32 will pay $100,000 to locate the man who has Australian accent calling himself Mr. Elder and the company organization funding his false online campaigns against South 32 and South32.com. Back in 2016, a movie came out by the name of South 32. You've probably never heard of it, despite some well-known actors being a part of its production. This low-budget film was a crime flick about police investigating multiple murders committed by a girl out for revenge. Since 2016, however, some discoveries have been made showing that something much more sinister may be lying beneath this movie and the company behind it. This mystery was initially discovered when a YouTuber by the name of Elders Vault created a video about the whole topic. A few YouTubers have made videos talking about a strange occurrence on Google Translate, where you set the language to Somalian, type in random text, and you'll get some strange and often unsettling results. While Elder was messing around with this feature, he found the website Satana.com which led to a website called South32.com, asking for investors in the movie. The website seemed like a promotion for the movie South32. It was later discovered that this website is owned by a man named Luigi Bion, who turns out to actually be the writer of South32. Bion is an interesting character. Despite not being able to find much legitimate information about him, some of the few things you will find out about him praise him for being a successful CEO of the several billion dollar company, South32. One source, for instance, is a shady website called LosAngelesNews.com. In addition to this, you could find many videos online of people giving testimonies to the achievements of Luigi Bion that seem very scripted and forced. Luigi Bion is the executive producer and CEO of South32, an international film production company. Luigi Bion, executive producer and CEO of South32, an international film production company. Not only is it apparent that these testimonies are actors being paid by him, but even the written testimony on LosAngelesNews.com was likely written by him. If you go to LosAngelesNews.com now, it leads to a Twitter page for South32. So this domain obviously belongs to Bion. Speaking of domains, Another thing Elder uncovered in his video was that there are over 74,000 websites that belong to Beyond that either redirect to South32.com or something related to it. Some of these sites would include strings of numbers, coordinates, phone numbers, and passwords. According to Elder, while browsing through some of these sites, he found one that prompted a password login. After guessing the correct password, it led to a page with GPS coordinates and talk of some sort of pickup location. Elder's video concludes with a few theories. One, about how this could all possibly be an ARG, which is unlikely given the high cost and little reward of owning all these websites just to promote a low budget movie that came out years ago. The other, about how all this could be a cover up for some sort of exchange of information, which would explain the GPS coordinates and pickup location. I have a different theory in mind, so I'll be picking up where Elder left off. Make sure to check out his video to see his full investigation on the matter. I'll link it in the description. Not long after Elder posted his video, the South32 website changed to this. <laughs> The website became much darker, even including this eerie image. They must have become aware of Elder's video and whatever influence he had on the mystery, because later on, the website changed once again to this. South32 will pay $100,000 to locate the man who has Australian accent calling himself Mr. Elder and the company organization funding his falls online campaigns against South32 and South32.com. Mr. Elder is clearly Elder's Vault, but I'm not sure why they're saying he has an Australian accent. They claim to be offering a $100,000 reward for his location, saying that he has been harassing the company. Just to be clear, I don't actually believe Elder is harassing South32. Still, the fact they responded so strongly to his video is alarming. There are rumors that Elder's Vault was physically harmed as a result of this, but that's not actually true. The most that happened to him was that he was threatened with legal trouble. As of right now, 
the website is still claiming to be offering this reward, and the Style32 YouTube channel has even posted several videos with Elder's video name in the title. Okay, so this whole thing is really odd, and there have been a lot of theories going around about South 32 being some sort of human trafficking or drug trade operation, but I think the solution to this is much simpler than that. In Elder's video, he did mention that the Los Angeles News website, which we know belonged to Luigi Bion, is actually registered to someone named Saeed Yamtabayan. It's pretty much confirmed at this point that Saeed Yamtabayan is Luigi Bion's real name. If you search up Saeed Yamtabayan on Google, you'll find multiple legal issues he got into when he was domain squatting. By that, I mean he would buy domain names very similar to well-known companies such as Yahoo, Bank of America, Fox Legal Group, etc. and then try to sell off those domains to those companies for a much higher price than he purchased them for, which is illegal. Now, this mysterious website is called South32 which also happens to be the name of an incredibly wealthy mining company in Australia. There's no way this is a coincidence. Furthermore, on South32, they describe Mr. Elder as having an Australian accent, which further strengthens the connection to the mining company. I'm sure you know the expression, past behavior is the best predictor for the future. I think that Yom Tobayan has created South32.com to try to get the South32 mining company to buy it from him. This is further proven by the fact that Yom Tobayan owns a lot of offensive URLs that link back to South32, and even says some offensive things on his site that I'm sure the mining company wouldn't want to be associated with. This would also explain why they responded so quickly to Elder's video. They want media attention to get them higher up in the search results. This would also explain the movies. In order to avoid legal trouble, it seems Yom Tobayan is trying to create these movies to make it seem like he has a legitimate purpose for having South32, which also explains why the movie is so low budget and available for free. This seems like the most likely explanation to me, especially when you take a look at this article from 2014 by DomainGang.com about BHP Billiton, the Australian company that created the South32 mining company, falling victim to cyber squatting by a company called Carry Beyond Film. The article states that the cyber squatters attempted to sell South32.com to BHP Billiton for $10 million. BHP Billiton obviously didn't buy the domain, and instead settled on the domain name South32.net. So that's all this really seems to be. Not some kind of human trafficking ring, but a cyber squatting scheme. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the flip side.